I could hear you before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody but, could. But we couldn't hear and you. And then the damn phone went beep beep. I'm like, I've got ears. Hang up on me. You got ears. <laughs> I'm leaving that alone. <laughs> don't open the door for him, Luke. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, dude, you're in Topeka, Kansas, man. Well, I ain't there yet. I'm about 200 miles away. Stay away. Dang. <laughs> Stay Dang. away. Is that your is that your destination? No, uh, Indianapolis is my destination. Uh. I want to stop there for the night. Oh, are you traveling eastbound? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, cool, man. So where are you coming from? <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. You just asked, was he traveling eastbound, and he's going through Kansas to get to, to Indy? Okay. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, man, the true question is, how long have you been drinking, and what is Thank you, it? thank how you. Really explain why. How, how do you like your eagle, Rob? <laughs> Rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some eagle rare going tonight. No, I came out of... Uh, Monty Vista, Colorado, about four hours south of Denver. Hmm. Dude, what do you think about this open? Man, this is a bad stick, bro. Thank Dude, you, that's sir. That's good, man. Thank that's you, good. sir. Luke, thank you, man. Uh, thank you. Oh, dude, no. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, there he go. Look at him. You can't see. You, hey. I'm glad you couldn't see that. <laughs> This dude is. I'm glad. I'm glad the camera didn't get that. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's grabbing the bottle and doing it. Thank you. <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know, man. Oh my goodness, man. Dude, how much have you had over there? <laughs> I, this is my fourth. Damn! Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, you good? Yeah, I'm good. you real good. <laughs> you should see these sleeves, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I told you about that coal miner's oh, kid, see, yeah, that's could, me. <laughs> yeah, with that shirt on, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> playing your banjo. <laughs> yeah. This dude is something else, man, tonight. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, so, Luke, you told me that your wife was going to start smoking cigars. Did that happen? Well, she's already has been. She has been for the last probably two going on three months now. Oh, nice, man. So, are y'all, like, hanging out and smoking cigars together? Never I'm home. That's <laughs> nice, man. Hey, well, how often do you get to go home now that you're doing cross-country? I won't be home this weekend. I'll be home next weekend. Wow. Dude, you won't be home until not this weekend, but the next weekend. Yeah, I'm going to be camping out somewhere across the country hmm. this weekend. So how far in advance do you know where you're going next? Normally about three or four hours before I drop. No way. Home. Sounds like the railroad. <laughs> so, like, you're dropping a load, and they're like, you're yeah. going so here. Like, yeah. Like yesterday, I dropped in Denver and then found out I got to reload and go to Indianapolis. I'm thinking, like, well, hell, I done drove 17 <laughs> hours west, now I'm turning around and driving all the way back. Wow. So do you ever, like, have to go all the way back towards home, but you don't actually go home, and before you get to go home, you have to go somewhere else? Not yet, but I'm sure that's going to happen. That's got to be tough, dude. That's got to be tough, man, because it's like, you know, home I mean, is just right there. I mean, Indianapolis from home is still yet three and a half hours away. Uh -huh. so that's not, that, that's far to some people, but three hours to me, that's just, just a 30 minute drive going down the road. <laughs> that's not the way that is to me. <laughs> dude, three hours, that's me going to Dallas. That's, that's 17 sticks for them. Hey, I'll tell you this, though. Hey, I'll tell you this. The last time I went to Dallas, me and a buddy Tim went, and instead of taking the interstate, we took the two-lane back roads all the way, and it was awesome. Yeah, because you could go as fast as well, you wanted to. No, no. It was just, we, weren't, we weren't even hauling ass. It was just hey, the countryside... At least Brian knows exactly what he's talking about. Yep. Because <laughs> you know that's what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't nobody out here. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> but it was still a longer trip. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
Hey, I want to say the same thing. My dispatcher called me earlier today. He said, hey, I want to send you a different route that you're going to be just a little bit heavy. I need you to run so that <laughs> you'll, you'll burn enough fuel to, to be light enough to the place you're going. I'm all right. And he said he's going to call it the backwood. Now, I was going through the southeast part of Colorado going into Kansas. Wow. I called him about halfway in, and I said, I don't know where you're from that you can do the backwoods. <laughs> but I call the backwoods. You can see something. Dude, this ain't but 300 miles of flat ground. Wow. The only thing that I've seen in the last two hours was one tree and a damn cow. Wow. On the side of the road, and that's it. I'm like... <laughs> where you been, boy? Yeah. Where you been, boy? <laughs> hey, did you see anybody out there playing a banjo? <laughs> hey, man, I ain't, ain't even worried about the banjo, man. That movie that uh, Brown was talking about, the dog on what is it? Just Jeeper Creepers. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've never Jeepers seen that, that movie. Dude. That stretcher road that I was on, man, I was seeing stuff out of that movie. I was on the phone with my wife, and I told her, I said, I'm like, if I die... Watch the movie Jesus Come find me. Yep. <laughs> Come find me. Wow. Now it sounds like I got to watch yeah, it. Yeah, Jeepers Creepers or something else. Really? Bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. You know what? I'm going to put that on my list for this weekend. Me and my wife's going to watch that. You're going to be like, where in the hell? And what was that? Hold on. Hey, hey, is the this. First, the first thing you need to understand about that movie. It's not like the ones we got nope. now. Nope. So the animation is a little bit shitty. Show sure is. It's kind of old. Whenever you you say, well, the dude's standing right there, and five minutes later in the movie, they all scream. <laughs> just kind of just, just yep. get ready for that kind of movie. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's like, oh. <laughs> you like, oh. It's old. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> it's, I see the I strings. Mean, <laughs> I mean, man, I'm 26. And you know, <laughs> y'all, y'all call that old, and it makes me feel old. Because <laughs> to us, <laughs> it's ancient. It's ancient. Oh man! So, well, hey man, we want to say thanks for sending us the cigars, dude. Yes, sir. Appreciate you supporting the show like you do, and always good talking with you. Me and this dude talk like a lot. Yeah, because he he, he tell you bull. <laughs> He, he, he feels it coming. <laughs> he tries to head you off at the pass. In fact, oh Lord, Lord, here he go. <laughs> no, Rob, stop, dude. Man, what are I'm you doing? Gonna, I'm just gonna put this out there. You gotta have a handful. <laughs> that's why having I, him right next to you, dude. That's why Luke is here now, his son. I need help. <laughs> I need help. And he had the nerve to get mad early because Luke act just like him. He said, you want to get knocked out. I say, why? Because you looked in the mirror real quick. <laughs> why? Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. <laughs> he said, he, listen to this. He sent me a message and said, would a Fuente Opus X be too much to put in a care package? <laughs> and my response You was, left the door open, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> My hey, response man, was <laughs> I hear y'all say these big ass name cigars and then you you look up the price tag and I'm thinking I'm like, all right, I gotta find something to compare to half the damn shit that hey, y'all smoke. Hey, because the last the last thing I wanna hear is you to put me on the dog on show <laughs> and then you're just saying this this kid in the middle of nowhere if he does something that Yeah, I'm like, no, <laughs> He went to the gas station <laughs> <laughs> on Route 66. <laughs> hey, so he says that in this text. He says, would an Opus X be too much to put in a care package? And I said, are you getting a hand job from this person <laughs> that's sending it to you? Because if so, oh, I think you're God. spot on. <laughs> Did you not? He is no good, man. <laughs> There's no way you could you try to do nice things for him and he just turn his stuff around on you, man. Like, dude, you I'm try trying to, to You try to send a nice yeah. question and you get the high schooler that you yes. Graduate yes. Graduate yes. yes, yes, yes. hundred percent. Some things never change. <laughs> I bet you if he could I bet you if he could, he still had that mullet. <laughs> dude. Well, Luke, man, you be safe out there, bro. Please. Hey, dude, and honestly, man, thanks for what you do, brother. Yes, I love yes. the truckers. 
I love all truckers, man. I think what y'all do is badass. My dad, before he passed away, uh, before he retired, he was a truck driver. And it's like, man, I know the amount of hours that yeah. you guys put in. And it's it's like, I know it's a good living, but not very many people can do it. Yes, yeah, true. So hats uh, off to it, you, brother. It's definitely a preference, but most people out there will not choose. And it's kind of funny to say, I see people to this day that will see how young I am and will literally ask, is there anything else you could have chose to do in life rather than <laughs> Like, who was your career counselor? <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway brother hey man we're gonna get on with the show but thanks so much for the cigars and i'll be talking to you soon man all right catch you later bro all right yeah that was fun man yeah, that man. was fun dude he's and then he's dude. out there on the road man oh dude have yeah. you seen his truck yeah oh did you see the poster he pictured uh, the, the, poster he <laughs> the poster he pictured the picture he posted hey easy so let is me that really an open sex me. over there? You know this is Texas. That's illegal. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. You rolling blunts over there? <laughs> you know the thing about these Lanceros uh -huh. is you gotta keep smoking yeah. it. Yeah, because he and it's amazing for you to say you have to keep smoking it because he will smoke a stick and what. <laughs> 20 minutes. That's what I'm saying, 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> and he said, well, I got to keep puffing on it. Dude, you always puffing. <laughs> when do you stop, man? Now, me, yeah, but people's like, oh, well, Brian takes a stick and he's two hours. Hey, you know, you know, people are like, if Rob was a woman, he'd be a porn star. Oh, he'd be a, ooh, yes. Hey, Super, hey, uh, nope, I'm hey, not going to say hey, it. <laughs> I saw the funniest meme the other day. There was like these. Don't you hate when people call it meme -y? Maymays, Mimis. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't even want to think about that. But anyway, this meme was like these two kindergartners, mm -hmm. and it was a boy, and sitting here was a girl, and she was eating the corn on the cob a long way. Oh, and Lord. And the meme said, yep, she's a keeper. <laughs> That's wrong, man. <laughs> she's got that is wrong, man. Cob. That is wrong, dude. <laughs> You gonna get us arrested, man? <laughs> they gonna come and confiscate your computer. <laughs> what has he been watching? <laughs> Where did he see this at? You know, and the bad thing <laughs> is, like, if you go through my search history, I know. Oh God, no! Because <laughs> you that type of dude. <laughs> when you die in your wheel, the first thing is clear my search history. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, because I use photos to send jokes yeah. to people, yeah. I look up some pretty uh, <laughs> terrible, terrible, Just, things. Yeah, terrible, not terrible, terrible, terrible. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that was happening here in America, <laughs> America. <laughs> Dude. Oh, shit. All right. Are we ready to start? We've show? been started the show, man. What are you talking about? See, that's what I, this is the thing me and Luke have to go through, man. I'm so glad somebody else is here to see this with me, man. No, this wasn't the pre show. The pre show was an hour ago. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I am so glad you were here, man. I got a witness. I got a witness. I completely thought that you were going to no, make that no. part You said we we're going to start the show with this. But then I didn't think you started because we had phone trouble. No. He got it. This is it. All right. Well, welcome back. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I am doing good. Doing good. I love it, man. I love it. I love it, too. I love it. Dude, hey, tell the truth. Tell the truth, baby. Tell the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, really? We're there yet? <laughs> Are we there? Come yeah, on. Can yeah. I get you back? <laughs> the reason that I'm laughing is because it's like 
We might, I might have said some things. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you on didn't. The podcast. No, you didn't. We're you good? kept it. You kept it good. Yes, you PG? did. Yes, yes, you were good. Wow. That, that's <laughs> the only thing that we're going to talk about is that damn meme that you were talking about. <laughs> that was there, but <laughs> I thought that was all. Right. <laughs> he said, "I thought that was the pre-show." No. <laughs> You, you notice how me and Luke looked at you like, really? You gonna get us arrested, man? <laughs> well, three letter people gonna be knocking on the shed. Uh, we who's Rob? <laughs> he, he pointed at his son. That is, dude. Take him away. <laughs> hey, before He's, you go, check your search history. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'm kidding. You in rare form tonight, bro. Well, Lemon, hey, I lemonade. I didn't realize we were taping the yes, show. Yes, we are, sir. So, yes, surprise, we're. Rob. So Which anyway, is hard. Right. So, anyway, guys, thanks for getting through the phone call <laughs> and the aftermath yes. of me not knowing that we started. So, anyway... We've got a very interesting show coming up tonight. Hmm. Mr. Starman Bryant Dude, don't Falconer go there. Not me. Uh-uh. has written no. out the show. No, no. So this is not just some willy-nilly where we're shooting from the hip. Nah, bro. This is honed journalism for the cigar community. <laughs> you know him. He set me up for failure, right? You know that's what he's doing. And then he's going to hit that... <laughs> This dude, is, this dude is something else, man. Hey, look out, Walter <laughs> Cronkite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you knew right man. where that man. What are you smoking, man? <laughs> 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 Be- okay. Because okay. of the Opus X. Okay. And where did you get that from? Luke, Cool <laughs> Hand Luke, who was on the phone. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And I'm smoking the Zay. <laughs> this is gonna be one for the, this is gonna be one for the record, bro. It's gonna be one for the record. Look at him. He, he can't even hold himself in, man. Come on, reel, reel it in, man. Reel it in. You know what? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, take a drink. I need for you to calm down. Oh my gosh! Thank you, folks, for listening. <laughs> this, one, this one is that show, I guess. So we're gonna start off with our pick six. Can you go first, Rob? Let me tell you something. No, here we go. <laughs> when you work as many days in a row as I, I understand, have, I understand. You bro. just get slap happy. <sighs> I mean, you know where it's your brain just feels like mush. mush. Yeah. And I was talking to Jay earlier. I went by the leaf. And while I was there, we chit chat because, you know, it's just been, I mean, in my perspective, I feel so bad for Jay right yeah. now because he has just been all over it. Yeah. And when other people have control of what happens yes. to you, it's not a good position. It's not a good position in. being. No, it isn't. And every mishap after mishap after mishap after miss meeting right. after miss meeting. And it's like, and dude. He's been on it. Yeah. And the thing about it is, when other people are not on it, because you know what? They don't have any Mm -mm. invested interest. Mm -mm. Nope. It's all about. I was talking to Jay about it, and he feels bad. Like he thinks he's letting down the cigar community. And I was like, dude. No, you're not. I said, the cigar community feels bad. And they mm-hmm. have hopes for you. And that's why they, 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 they're circling the wagons around them. Because we're going there doing things more like the other day I went there and spent like almost $400 on them. Because I was like, that's my brother, man. You know, and I understand what's going on. I need sticks. <laughs> I'm not going to order them offline. I'm going right down into my brick and mortar. I'm going to walk in here with my friend. And I'm. Gonna, I, he knows what I want. I told him, I said, man, pick me out what, what you think I would like. And he, wow. he hooked me up, man. He hooked me up. I got a bundle of A's. And the rest of it was like, dude, I'm happy. Dude, speaking of the A's, I was talking to Tim uh-huh. in Lubbock. Uh-huh. And he was like, I went. I He went to... Uh, smoker's haven mm-hmm. and he, they had two a's left and he bought them both <laughs> smart man and i was like good for you yeah. man. because you know he's on that journey yep. 
Tim is like when you remember when you really caught the bug oh, yes. and you started really trying new things, that's where Tim is. And so he was asking me, he was like, hey, you think I should buy like a box? And I was like, for me, I say no, mm -hmm. because you only smoke two cigars a weekend. Yeah, yeah. If you buy a box, you're going to be smoking, smoking the same, same cigar two for a long for the next 10 weeks. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, if I were you, I would probably go buy like five of this, five of mm -hmm. this, five of this, and five of this for about the same price. But now you have a variety. And now you get I can smoke this and this this weekend, mm -hmm. next weekend, change it up. And by the time the 10 weeks is up, you never smoke the same two cigars at the way. same time. Right. Yep. Mm hmm. So, that's, so that's what I told him. That's good advice. And it's weird coming from you right now. I don't know what you mean by that. You, I think we, People have been listening to the show already. They know what I mean. <laughs> they know what I mean. Hey, you, I didn't you, realize. You were thinking clearly. <laughs> I didn't realize we were recording. <laughs> Producer. How? You told him to. <laughs> hey, did I clap? Yes. <laughs> no, that was dumb. Now he's on his sixth <laughs> shot <laughs> of Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. <laughs> hey, they don't sponsor us yet. 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 You need to bring that on the other side of the mic. They couldn't see it. You remember. There you go. Eagle Rare, baby. Anyway, do you remember in uh, Caribou at the end where he says, <laughs> they don't sponsor me yet? Yet. <laughs> yet. Bingo. So We're getting there, man. Anyway, what's hey, your pick? No, let's go. Let's talk about McAuliffe right quick. I most definitely, bro. Because, like, the A's, <sighs> dude. The A's are to me probably the cigar that I've never seen fly off the shelf as fast as the A. That's why I told you I, I grabbed a bundle because I didn't right. want, I didn't want to miss out on it. But, dude. All the people that I know, mm -hmm. and we're not talking about Nabilene. We're talking about across yeah. the whole state. Yeah. And even further. Further. Yeah, because I got friends in Illinois that are grabbing them. <clears throat> and to see us, I've never seen a cigar that, it's, I mean, unless it was like some rare number one. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about a release dedicated to the ambassadors. And it is flying off the shelf. Dude. Flying. I told I told Tim I was like, dude, you're gonna be really happy mm -hmm. because, and I'm not knocking anybody, but you know he smoked. I'm gonna say probably for about eight weeks in a row, the uh, Brick House Maduro, good stick, good stick. Yeah, but not eight weeks worth of good stick. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? It's not. <laughs> you know what? That's a great cigar when your wallet's yes. a little light. Yeah, you know what I mean? eight weeks. Oh, eight Jesus! Week, every every week on the herf, he'd be like. Oh. Every, in fact, everybody would be like, "Brick house." Yep. <laughs> What's Rob smoking? Medallia. What is Tim smoking? Brick house. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we anyway, know what those two have. <laughs> so anyway, he got the two A's. So he's got those in his humidor, and you know he got a new humidor a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, you told me about that. So he's getting excited. And anyway, are you going to be able to, oh, you're going to be out of town. I was yeah. going to say, we're going to have the Herf this weekend, and I think uh, Orlando's hosting. Okay. It will already have happened by the time you heard this show. <laughs> yes. But anyway, Orlando's going to host Saturday night. Okay. <clears throat> and so, anyway, the... Uh, are y'all going to let him speak? <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody going to let him speak? <laughs> yeah, you, are you going to be by... <laughs> computer you're gonna be in here on this computer he's hosting but that doesn't mean anything no to. i can't do anything uh, yeah he's, he's gonna he, have to mute, mute you me. yeah okay because yeah. i was gonna say because every time he started to talk you're gonna hit them buttons on. <laughs> that was so funny dude that dude because so <laughs> someone would be like hey orlando what happened with so-and-so and he'd be like this nope <laughs> and i'd be like no 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 go ahead and he's like Mm -mm. And I'd be like, dude, seriously, they ask you a question, answer. <laughs> and then you go, all right, well. <laughs> that was not nice. It, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't say it was not. <laughs> but it was you. That's one hundred percent you, man. And that's the beauty of it. Hey, you know, you Orlando. Orlando is doing his own podcast. Yeah, him and uh, Bill. No, no, no. They, the, the, um, that's the ambassador yeah. thing. <clears throat> but Orlando is doing his own podcast. What I it? think it's called the Orlando Perez Podcast. <laughs> I was gonna say no shit. Huh? I, mean, I can see that as being the title I, of it. I was like, "Are you naming him after someone famous?" <laughs> yes, or- Orlando Perez. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> so Orlando here. So anyway, he's talking about he's had bad luck with equipment, and did, he said on the Discord. He said, does anybody have some information on what I should buy? And I was like, I don't know. (laughs) There are some guys that have been doing it that you might be able to ask in this room. (laughs) He's like, huh? He was like, oh, man, I know you're You're busy. busy. And I was like, dude, come on, man. That's the beauty. It's that still part of the the cigar community. We're here for each other, man. Dude, another dude sent me an email this week saying that him and a buddy was starting a podcast, and I emailed him a whole equipment list, platform hosting, everything you need to know because that's what it's about. Yes, that's what it's about, man. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to light up this Opus X again. I'll be right back. How? (laughs) How? How did it go out from the smoker, man? <laughs> Cheech, Cheech let his let his blunt go out. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you something. What? This Opus X it's good, is phenomenal. Man. It is, but I can't. Let me see yours. Well, you must be puffing on it. Yeah, because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. So, back to McAuliffe, dude. I mean, they are knocking it out of the park. I mean, it's just one home run after the yes, next. Sir. Yes, sir. And you know what I really enjoy is I see the success, like, coming in waves for mm-hmm. them now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because they're doing everything right. And they care about the consumer. They care about the brick and mortar. Yes. And when you see the rewards for doing yes, the right yes, thing. Yes. Dude, it's it's, it's it's amazing story to watch actually in person. You know what I mean? Every day. When you hear about companies 20, 30, 40 years ago about how they did things and they did it right, and then you see what McAuliffe is doing now, and you're like, wow, that's awesome. But that's that's the beauty of it, man. They, they're taking their <clears> – first they take – Al is taking his knowledge. It values. And values. And his love for his product. And he's enhanced it with a team around him that is phenomenal. And let me tell you guys, I want to just interject this Uh right here. You know what episode we released last week? Yeah. 96. Mm -hmm. I want to tell everybody, for episode 100, we've got... Al McCalla for a one-on-one interview. And it was supposed to be a secret for like weeks. No, no, it was a secret for weeks. No, it wasn't. You opened your mouth the first time. <laughs> the first, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. Well, it was on the radio. Yeah. But you opened, you, you can't hold nothing, man. You well, can't hold your water. You can't. You can't hold <laughs> your slacks up. <laughs> you can't hold nothing, man. Can't hold my sleeves yeah, up. I, we see. <laughs> this dude has a. It was a long sleeve shirt this morning. Hey, does it look nice? No, it did until you got up and walked across, and, and I saw it was that the sleeves weren't straight across. They were used. <laughs> So he cut the damn thing in waves, man. With a knife. That's what I'm like. What, what in the heck did he do? <laughs> Bruh, when things like that come up, Dude, I'm no, 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 no. When I things like so that come up, call Miss B before you do. Because <laughs> I promise you, she wouldn't have let you destroy that shirt with the knife. I know it. She wouldn't have let you destroy. And guess what? Then I wouldn't want to wear the shirt until she got back and cut. She cut it and did it the <laughs> correct way. <laughs> when I think of something, I do it. I don't mess around. See, that's man. a problem. There has to be a filter. <laughs> Just like he said earlier, with with the meme, you gotta you gotta you need a filter, dude. You gotta have a filter, man. Uh-uh. It's not See, happening. That's a problem. It's not man. happening. 
What's the matter? Because we got to run with it. What I knew. Yeah, we will. Listen okay. to the producer. Okay, so the producer's yelling at me, <laughs> saying we also need to. No, so we have a new sponsor. Yes, sir. And you know a what? A great one, too. You know, here's the thing about the people that we have as sponsors. Say it. They never came to us. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they never said, that's a great show. We should do something. Mm-hmm. You know, here's the thing. We love cigar companies. We have a special connection because we smoke so many of their sticks and we love the people behind the brand. And that's how we decide who we We want want to be a sponsor. Mm -hmm. We don't just send out a message to everybody and say, hey, would you sponsor the show? Because that. That happened in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, we did that once. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Ooh. Jesus. That was rough, too. Yeah, on me, because you gave me all them doggo sticks to smoke. I was so, like, so, I'm not so. going to say the name, but I was like, God, how many did they send? They sent a lot. Ooh, they Jesus. Lot. And I tried to give some of them away. Folks was like, nah, man, I, I pass on that one. What else you got in there? Hey, like, they, you they, sure? They were like, what's that <laughs> smell? <laughs> Yeah, that was something. Ooh, so you know Jesus. what? And that's mm. one of the things we've taken. We learned from right the church. <laughs> for real. We learned. We <laughs> the beginning of cigar talk <laughs> was a journey. You know, the first few episodes were we like had no idea. None. What we you know, the first few episodes sound like you had an AM radio on the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> that was but it was getting some static from the weather. <laughs> I mean, it was bad. And as it grew. <clears throat> Our understanding of things grew, especially about who we want to sponsor. Because, whoo, Jesus. Yeah. Because- I'll never say their name, but you will never see with another one of them sticks again, man. <laughs> yeah. Never. No, no. Never. Uh, and, you know. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but, you know, that's one of the reasons that I like talking to guys that are starting a podcast or thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Because, dude, I can save you. <laughs> Some humiliation, humiliation. <laughs> a lot of worry, a lot of headaches. <laughs> and Ooh. because I listen to a show, yeah, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> I love my producer, man. I love my producer, man. He's strict. <laughs> he is he's strict. He own it. <laughs> so anyway, back to we chase people down that yes. we love, yes, and ask them to be a sponsor. And when they are gracious enough to accept, we're going to tell you every time we get the chance about them and not just about them, but how to help us grow them. Yes, yes. Because we don't want to just have you as a sponsor and we just mention you and hope that the best is the best. best yeah. We want the the cigar what 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 what's the uh light them up crew Oof, the yes. light them up crew light them up crew to get behind the sponsor and really show the love and help us get those cigars in your local shops yeah because no one can get cigars in local shops like, like the, the consumers locals. yeah like those local consumers and this new sponsor and they've seen, heard us you and you've probably if you're on social media yeah. you've seen these guys yes yes it, it is tiktok and the everything. artisanal tobacco company mm-hmm. and they make the viva, the viva la, la vida yes sir. and we want to welcome them to the show yes we have been there with them through their journey and talk about another company that does it the right Tell way. Tell the truth, man. That does it the right Tell way. Tell the truth. They make first. <laughs> first. <laughs> they don't just fly down somewhere and have somebody make a cigar. Mm-mm. They Research. get mm-hmm. AJ Fernandez to mm-hmm. blend their first cigar. The man. Their only dream of yep. a cigar. The man. And he creates this amazing blend yes and i was fortunate enough back in the day that mm-hmm. i actually got to smoke the pre cigar oh <clears throat> when they were still blending dude and i was like dude this is this is a good stick mm-hmm. and so you know it was a new show yeah i mean you weren't even on the show nope. yet i was just a listener and so i was like blown away because my then, first one you gave to <clears throat> me yeah 
<clears throat> I, in fact, I think I gave all the regular guys mm-hmm. we hang out with one at the Leaf. Yep. And so the cigar is the Viva La Vida. Yes. Comes in many Viatolas. <clears throat> but my, my all two of favorite. them. What's your two favorite? Jester and the Series 500, baby. See, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I like the Jester and the Torpedo. Mm. Now, don't get me wrong. For a big stick, yeah. I love the box press. Mm-hmm. I think they knocked it out by yes, going that route. They did. Because I'm not a big 60 guy. No, you're not. But on the box press, I like it. You know what I mean? It's... I, I, the only word I can think of, it's perfect for it. And with the blend that they have for that 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 Viatola, it is just like, okay, I love this. I really do. It's smooth. It takes you on that ride, as we talk about. Now, I know also that, that some guys say the Lancero yeah. is amazing. It is, but... I'm not a Lancero me neither. guy. Me neither. Like... That's just not in my wheelhouse. It reminds me of a uh, Cruella de Vil. <laughs> well, I just don't get into it's, it's like, long and slender, man. Like, like it's just a little too small ring gauge. Because mm. you know, I like the forty six, mm-hmm. but I want to say that's like a thirty eight to a forty mm-hmm. somewhere in there. But the people who smoke it love it. Swear, oh by yeah, it. they love it. They love it. So for me. The Jester and the Torpedo, okay. dude, sit back with some Eagle Rare. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> dude, that's a great stick. It and is, I'll tell you man. what I like. You know what the Viva La Vida reminds me of? What's that? You know how the Four Roses whiskey is? Mm-hmm. Not the small batch, not the single barrel, but just the regular. Okay. It's got 10 different recipes mm-hmm. in it. You know, the small batch and single only have like four or five. Mm-hmm. But what's so great about the regular is those 10 recipes make it pair so well with, with everything. every yeah. cigar. With everything. The thing about the Viva La Vida is it's like that to me. Mm. It pairs well with everything. Mm. I can go from a bourbon to a scotch to a coffee and never miss and a beat. And never miss a beat. Gotcha. I do. It's I a, understand. It's a it. special blend. Yeah, I'm a I understand. Huge fan. It. But here's the thing, guys. These guys are our sponsors. They're willing to, you know, support our show as mm. a sponsor. And here's what we ask: is that you go out to your local shop and say, you know what? I've seen these cigars all over social media. Would you please consider getting a box into the shop so that we can try them yeah. out? And I promise you, <clears throat> dude, they're going to sell. Dude, I got people from Lubbock asking me about them. So if you haven't had one, it's a treat. It's a but treat. But if your shop doesn't carry them, go by and ask them. The voice hey, of man, the people, baby. Viva La Vida. They, they, they are two guys that really deserve support. Mm-hmm. And so we're, we appreciate them that they sponsor us, but even more so, we want to help them. Oh, most definitely. So anyway, hey, let's get to <clears throat> our pick six of the week. Yes, sir. I'm going to let you go first. You're going to let me go first. My first one was a Macanudo Inspirado. Which color? Orange. Orange. Now, is that the Habano or uh, Nicaraguan? That was the Habano. Okay. I was going to say, I've had the red and the orange, and I couldn't remember which was which, but... Now, is the red a San Andreas or is that a Maduro? I'm trying to remember. I think that's a. Neither one of those. Yeah. Honduran or something. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't think. It, and then my number two, <clears throat> Jay gave me a call. He had put a picture out. I told him he put the bat signal out on uh, Instagram. Oh, what'd he, you get? The Baca Jingus. Nice. Jingus. Oh, man. Dude, you know I love the Bantus anyway. Yes. So yes. I tried that, and I was like, you know what? Thank you. He's like, what do you mean? I said, man, <laughs> thank you. You put the bat signal out. I came and I got me three. Uh, yeah, I got three the first time, and then I went back and got six. <laughs> I love this stick, man. Roman Craft is not playing anymore, man. They're Dude, coming they on, on man. They are on. They're coming on. They really are. And my number three was at Alec Bradley Prinsado. Oh, nice! Yes. That's a that's a oldie but a goodie. Yeah, Jay hooked me up, and I told you I, I went there and I told him just pick out what you think I would like. He gave me two of those, and I was like, "Oh yes, 
<laughs> let me oh, let yes. me let me tell you. Are, that, are you done? Yes, that's my three. Okay, so I went by the leaf earlier today, uh-huh. and you know what? I'm gonna save it for number one. Okay, so talk about your three then. So number three was the uh, six hundred one, and I don't know which one it is. I'm just gonna tell you straight up because you know why I bought it. Because right, it was shaped like a feral pig. That's you know what I'm talking about. It's yeah. a 601 bomb. It's the uh, it looks uh, like the, it looks like a bomb. I mean, it has like flames on the side. But when I saw that it was an Espinosa and it was in the flying pig shape, I was like, <laughs> I got to smoke that. So anyway, great stick. And I love just about everything from Espinosa. Yes, I do I'm a, too. I'm a big fan of that company. I'm a fan of Big Tony's. And so give that guy a shout out anytime you can. But anyway, great stick, great stick. It was, it was uh, as you know, as an Espinosa in general, it is not a medium. It's full-blown. Flashbang. Flashbang. Well, there you go. So you would know that it's not <laughs> the uh, – it's not the, the – uh, Medium Be stick. Fig. No, so. not at all. Because <laughs> I had one or two of those, and they some, phew, they don't play with you, man. So, mm-hmm. number two. Okay. It's been a little bit. I think it's been a little bit. The medallion. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to tell you right he now. He did not get that lie. <laughs> did. He, did he tell that lie? <laughs> it's been a bit. <laughs> what? A stick? <laughs> Hey, hey, were you surprised? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody's surprised. We got new listeners. Oh, he said the medallion again. <laughs> I'm just saying that I can't you can't get away from that. Thing. No, you can't get away from it. <laughs> hey, well let me tell you this. I don't know if you know this, but for <laughs> an entire month, for an entire month, <laughs> I smoked the Toro. Medallia. What? Yeah. How? Here's what I did. You know, me and Dan have an argument back and forth mm-hmm. about which vehicle is the best. That's true. So I wanted to give him a fair shake and do my own <laughs> research. <laughs> and after 30 days, uh-huh. I was 100% correct. <laughs> it was the other. <laughs> I have know the, the, the best. The six, no, yeah, the 6 by 46 uh-huh. is the best size. So, Dan, clinically, scientifically. <laughs> your clinic, <laughs> and you're the scientist. Right. You All right. lose. Hey, right, Jerry Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. So, anyway, number one uh-huh. is the Eclipse. Wow. Ashton ESG. Wow. Dude, I opened it up at the leaf. Uh huh. You know, it comes in the little tin. I opened it up and it had plume all over it, dude. I don't know how long they've been sitting in there. What was that aroma but it was like? It's a man. treasure. What was that aroma like? You know what? It was like a subtle, it wasn't like a blast in your uh-huh. face. It was like a subtle, rich, dark, Real dark chocolate Ooh. overtone, and then the Mm-mm. just a pure tobacco. There is nothing like an aged oh, cigar. Mm, yes, one that is allowed to mature oh, and the age. Way it should yeah? I mean, because listen, let's Ooh. just say that probably sixty percent of the cigars on the market are not aged. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? You, when you buy them, you got to let them sit and rest. You might. Yeah. You might. You might buy a cigar that has rested six months mm-hmm. at a cigar shop. At a cigar shop. Mm-hmm. But every once in a while, you find one that's been resting for years. Yeah, like that one he, that four years that he yes. gave me. Dude, just sitting there. That, that, that is allowed to rest, mature. Oh, I have a stick for you. Oh, oh, I have oh. a stick for you. Oh, Hang oh. on a second. Oh, oh. Unless I smoked it. See, th- that part I believe. <laughs> <laughs> the point I have a stick for you is like, okay, yeah, I got to see this. That last uh, verbiage he gave us, unless I smoked it, is is that is Rob 100%. Look, he can't even find it. He had to close the door. <laughs> nope, I smoked it. He smoked it. it. <laughs> so let me tell you about the cigar oh, I had. Jesus. <laughs> people, people, people. Yeah. Let me tell you about your cigar. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so I went down to the Leaf, and Corey was there a couple of days ago. I was supposed to come see him, but I couldn't. So anyway, I went in there, and I had left a Sumatra in there, mm. and he put it up on a shelf, and it has been in their humidor for like eight or nine months. I think you already gave me that. Oh, did I? Yeah, because I smoked it today. I thought I thought I gave it to you, but yeah. dude. That had been aged for and almost a year. It was outrageous today. I smoked that for lunch, dude. I hey, you know what? I know you love that Sumatra. Yes. And I was Man, like, dude. I, I came home and I was like, I'm gonna smoke that cigar. And I was like, <laughs> Bryant really loves <laughs> and the I Sumatra. Thank you for that, man. Cause dude, I smoked that today and I was like, where did he get this at? Yeah, it had been it was a McAuliffe Sumatra. Yes. And it, it was amazing. It looked really It was amazing, nice. man. I, I enjoyed it. I smoked that today at lunch. Nice. Today at lunch. Had me a nice, uh, Dude, I had that, a hot tea. And that too. was like a, a, what, a six inch? Mm -hmm. And a box press, probably about a 50 or 52. It was a 50 box pressed. I, it took me an hour and a half to smoke it. I enjoyed that smoke, man. I really did. I sat there in my truck. In the in the parking lot of my job, <laughs> and folks is coming up looking at me. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> this stick is hey, good. Hey, keep on walking. Keep There's on, nothing to see. Nothing here. to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Please don't come over here because I'd be mad. <laughs> Leave me alone, dude. That was a good hey, stick. Thank so, you, man. Thank hey, you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, so let's talk about. You've got a whole. You, yeah. You guys are going to be blessed today because Bryant has like put in massive hours at bringing you the best content that you've ever had dude so lay it on us go on with that stuff <laughs> <laughs> first we're talking about the sign of the times and you even oh, said you wanted to talk about I this i did want to talk about this i'm the, glad you brought it up because the bugatti headquarters were burglarized yeah man and i tell you what you know here's the thing first of all we both have bugatti lighters yes we do we're a big fan yes we are I love the engineering. I love the quality. I love the people that run this place. But here's what you got to know about them is they're not some big company. No. The Bugatti Lighter division or company or whatever you want to call it is really more like an upstart. Yeah. And they've been around for a long time. But they've done a complete 180 shift. Mm -hmm. They're going a new way, and they're creating something exciting in the cigar market. Yeah. And so you have this smaller type company, and someone rips off Dude, thousands you, of you, lighters. This is what they got. They say they got, yeah, thousands of lighters. Thousands of lighters. And 27,000 cans of butane. Dude, this, first of all. Butane, to, butane. Now, was that the cartridges or the cans? I don't know. It says various sizes. So let's just say, because five bucks a piece. Yeah, because the the lighters we have have the cartridges. Right. So that's the cartridges. You got the cans, but twenty seven thousand pieces of equipment. That's a hundred. That's over a hundred thousand dollars that you're taking a hit on. Dude. And then the thousand lighters. Yes. Just the thousand. It said thousands. Thousands, but. The the lighters are the ones we have are ninety nine a hundred dollars a right. hundred dollar lighters, so they took those and some of the boss lighters. So you're looking at anywhere from forty to over a hundred dollars worth uh for a lighter and thousands of them. Man, they took a hit. That's a hundred thousand dollars in inventory. Way more, way more, way yeah. more. They took a serious hit, man. But that's the sign of the times. People are to the point so where they just. And here's what I want to say on, about huh? that, though. Here's what I want to say. That's a lot of lighters mm. that somebody stole, and so they've got to put those lighters up for sale. And that's when they're going to gonna do something. Up. So here's what I would say: if you come across a Bugatti lighter that's discounted. Mm -hmm. Then too good to be true. There's a well. There's a red flag that needs to be, to be raised, yeah. and somebody notified. Yeah. You know what I mean. Even if you're gonna notify us, please, because I will. I still have a lot, and I got friends not friends that are cops in in Florida. Yeah, I let that information will get out because that, that it's wrong, man. It's it wrong. And it's wrong. You know, 
I, I don't understand that mentality. I don't understand the mentality that, first of all, you're going to take something that doesn't belong to you. And second, that much, just not even to care about the people that you're affecting in their lives. Well, people, they don't, man. Working as a cop, you, you see, you ask questions. Well, why'd you do it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know why you did it? I don't know. It was just something to do. How is that just something to do? Dude, I, How is that just something to do? I can't even imagine. I mean, these people had to have a plan. Yeah. Especially to get this this much inventory. Right. That was a plan in that. That was a plan in that. A, a big plan in that. Because you, so that you couldn't just, just pull, a random guy Yeah, you couldn't just by. pull up in your Camaro and think you're going to get all, put all that inventory inside a Camaro. It's not going to happen, bro. Right. They yeah. came in with, with a truck. Truck. Yeah. And they had, they had researched it out, looked the optimal time to hit them what they could get you know it, it was research done in this but the sure. point of it is you affected a country i mean not country but a company that is turning a page that is trying to move forward do you know how far you put them back now right especially at this time d- d- doing everything that's going on today with covid and the way businesses are shutting down for reasons other than this right and then you hit them with that come right. on man Come on, man. It's nah. it's it's inhumane. A good word. Boom. That's, That's a good it. word. Yeah. Drop the That's mic. We're out. Yep. <laughs> That's a good word. So anyway, great story, dude. Great story. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it to yeah, the front. No problem. Ten till what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love my producer, man. Ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. <laughs> Get on a stick now. Yeah. Hey, we need to do the uh, let be. Go I'll, ahead and do the uh, the drawing. The drawing. Moose Mountain Let's Goods. Get, Moose Mountain Goods. You know they're opening a brick and mortar here. Yeah, you told me, dude. That is awesome. All That's right. an opportunity too. Yes, it really is. You know how much coffee is drunk. I can't think of the word to say. You know what's, how much coffee is consumed <laughs> in you Abilene? You didn't want to say drink. No, I didn't want to use the incorrect uh, verbiage verse of that. <laughs> consumed in Abilene. Man, there's coffee stores everywhere, dude. All right. So, first of all, uh-huh. we do a drawing every week. Every week. And so, if you're not registered for the drawing... All you have to do is go by our website, and that's Mm cigartalkpodcast.com. Click on the register button. Mm -hmm. We just ask for your name and email address. We rarely send out emails, although the monthly newsletter is due out any day now. Haven't started on it, but I'll get to (laughs) it. It will be done any day It will be done. (laughs) And so, anyway, all you got to do is go by, give your name and email, and we'll put you in the drawing every week. And so, this week, we're doing Moose Mountain Goods coffee and you tell us what kind of you want beans or you want ground and we'll get it shipped to you right away so go by and check it out register and we'll be hopefully calling your name soon anyway this week's winner is don mangum d-a-w-n or d-o-n d-a-w-n okay so it's a female and the last name is m-a-n-g-h-a-m mangum okay mangum mangum all right. And uh, Mangum, you got to have a 73 in your email, email address. address. A seven 73. and a three or a three and a seven. Somewhere in there. Somewhere. A seven and a three. Right. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. And all you got to do is send an email to uh, rob at cigartalkpodcast.com. And let me know that in the subject line, Cigar Talk winner, and in the body, put your name, address, and if you want your coffee beans or ground, and yes. we'll get that sent out to you. You got to contact us, though, before oh, next here it Sunday here it comes. at 18 hundo. <laughs> hundo. You know, that's what I should have put on your shirt. I didn't think 18 about that. 18 hundo. hundo. <laughs> anyway, so congratulations, Don. Yes. And uh, so what's your next topic? We got another topic. So right open quick. discussion opportunity. Uh-oh. Give me two reasons why you smoke cigars. I feel like I'm at a third grader's book report. Yeah. <laughs> and there is a grading <laughs> scale on this. <laughs> you just can't say because I want to and I need to. Oh, here we go again. They're like, you've been over there for two hours, Bryant. So anyway, I'm going to do, let's see, Really, two reasons why I smoke cigars, and I'm going to just tell you straight up 
first of all, it's the brotherhood. It's being able to go to a shop and get to know not only the other patrons, but, you know, to get to know the owner, to get to know the tobacconist that they have. You know, they're very experienced people. They have a lot of knowledge. And I'll tell you what, when I first got started, I didn't take advantage of those opportunities like I should have. It was it was several years after smoking a lot of crap before I started using the expertise mm. of the tobacconist. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so then you take, I guess, all in all, I would say it's the lounge. Okay. And I can't wait till our new lounge is open. Yes. But being able to go down there and whether it's other patrons like me that I get to meet mm -hmm. or hang out and talk to the guys I already know or actually talk to the owner and the tobacconist that they have and gain some insight that I didn't know. Okay. You know, because if you're a cigar smoker, you don't know everything. Nope. <laughs> nope. What, do you, what do you call that? A sommelier? <laughs> I'm not one of those, and Nowhere I'll never near. be one of those, mm -hmm. but I do enjoy gaining knowledge from those who actually have it. Got gotcha. you. Give me one of yours. Freedom. Okay. Man, the ability, Be a little more specific on that you, one. You, you remember the old- <laughs> Freedom! Uh, <laughs> you remember the old commercial about Cal Gun? Take me away. Take me away. Man. Oh, yeah. That's the way I feel when I get- uh, you know, the opportunity to smoke a good stick. You know, it's like a good stick could take me away. It's a great release from the day. And some days it's the best part of waking up, you know, next to the Lord, man. <laughs> <laughs> best part of waking <laughs> up is that stick in it's my having hand. you in my bowl. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the other is the camaraderie, what you were talking about earlier. Like, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, I'll tell you what's really awesome about the camaraderie is I when I used to travel a lot for work, mm -hmm. in the evening I'd go down to the patio and light up a cigar, and every time you would have somebody sit down and either they had a cigar or you would offer one. Yes. And to sit there and realize that it's just like this. It's it's just a camaraderie that yeah. you don't have anywhere else on yeah. anything else. And the common denominator is that stick, man. Right. Always. I mean, I was in Temple, Texas, down at the patio, and I was smoking a cigar. Next thing uh -huh. I know, man, I'm talking to a guy that lives in China. <laughs> he's from, like, Indiana. Uh-huh. But he's over there. He's some scientist, and he's doing some work, and he's been over there for, like, 18 years. Wow. Comes home once a year. And he's at the hotel. We're hanging out, smoking cigars. And you sit next to Rob. Yeah. That what, messed his whole world up. Hey, what a lucky guy. He's like, I need to get back to China. <laughs> this dude. Hey, hey, hey. That communism is so bad after all. Because <laughs> who I was sitting next to. <laughs> man, it's great, man. I, 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 the camaraderie is the number one thing for me because in the end, it's all about the ability to sit down with someone, not even just sit down, but to be in the presence of someone, you have one thing that's in common, and off that you can spawn a million and a half conversations, man, a million. And you're looking back like, okay, I just met somebody new today. Where if you were, <laughs> if you weren't doing that, you know, I jobs just running, ripping and running the highway. <laughs> you see people in there going the other way or you racing down the highway. It's just, you know, that ability to just sit down and just have something co in common Dude, to talk and about. And if you man. knew how many miles I've driven today, uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah. and it's been that way all week. Yeah. But, you know, that's just part of it. That's part of life, baby. So, anyway, well, hey, uh, before we go, I just want to give a shout out to all of our Patreons. A hundred percent. Thank you guys so much because you guys support us behind the scenes. And, you know, we do the pre-show. Only the Patreons get the pre-show. And let me it's tell you. It's a blessing you. that they are the only one, especially today's pre-show. Jesus. Tell you, let me tell you something. That may get us banned. <laughs> So if you Ooh. are a member of the Patreon, please nobody send that out. <laughs> Keep that. Please don't. No, what I was going to say Ooh. is if you become a Patreon member, there is a waiver. <laughs> 
the ultimate waiver. <laughs> there will be no lawsuits. None. <laughs> you must sign. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. But anyway, no, really, for real, guys, we appreciate you guys so much. You know, it's a blessing. It's humbling. <sighs> and I have a relationship with so many of the Patreons. Yeah. And, you know, some of them have been there from the start. And some of them have been there for a month or two. Bloke with a beer. <laughs> Dude's been there number one. <laughs> number man. one. Yeah. Man. So <laughs> say thank you to him and all the other guys. Yes, sir. You know, it's just been a blessing to get to know so many of you guys yes, and that anybody would support our show. Yes. You know, we just hit a hundred thousand <gasps> downloads. It's humbling, man. It's humbling, man. You know, when I saw one hundred thousand downloads, I said, What is wrong with these people? <laughs> <laughs> Are they that freaking bored? <laughs> the, the producer's Dude, freaking out. out. He's like, no, no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? <laughs> hey, it's... <laughs> We realize that Rob is not the weirdest person in the world. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, you know, are are we that, that weekly car wreck that people are like <laughs> rubbing egg <naked. laughs> squirrel? <laughs> right. No, but you know what? We're very thankful oh, yes. to you guys that listen every week. I get a lot of emails back and forth and. You know, it's just a blessing. And I had a guy reach out last week about his humidor. Mm -hmm. He had bought $500 worth of cigars. Ooh. He didn't have a humidor, so he was keeping Ooh. them in, like, you Tupperware. know, Tupperware-type yeah. containers. And, you know, we went back and forth investigating what uh -huh. was going on because his cigars were being over-humidified. Yeah. But... Having that conversation back and forth and knowing that you're helping someone is a blessing. That's a blessing. Yes. Man. That's a blessing. That's what it's all about. So, that's what it's all about. Anyway, guys, we just want to say thank you so much mm -hmm. for getting us, you know, to 100,000 downloads. That <laughs> blows my mind away. And don't and, forget, and in three more episodes, three. we are at episode 100. And we no, have say it right. One hundred. Hundo. One hundred. 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 H u n n i t. Hundred. <laughs> no, you know, and for a special show, I thought about who I would want to have on the show, mm -hmm. and I've never had Al McAuliffe one on one just for that, uh -huh. and I was like. Dude, if there's any way you guys could hook us up with Al, and there it was. we would be honored. And, there it was. and he came down. We had a great interview, great show. And, dude, my son went with me. And I'm going to tell you right now, at 20 years old, you're intimidated <laughs> to meet a guy with that history, oh. that much success. Oh. And when we left, you know what my son said? What's that? That guy was down to earth. Yeah. He was shocked, yeah. and I wasn't because I had already Never been, been shocked. shocked. <laughs> yeah, and so you're not going to want to miss out on episode 100. I promise you that, guys. And you know what? It's kind of kind of getting late in the game. Mm. We better come up with some freaking giveaways. Mm. So if you're a cigar company and you want to help us do some giveaways yeah. for the 100th episode, Talk contact to us. me yeah. immediately. Talk to us immediately. <laughs> Talk to us because we are broke. <laughs> <laughs> New equipment, man. We're trying to trying to evolve. Trying to hey, evolve. Hey, we really are. Also, if you haven't checked us out on YouTube, we do have a YouTube mm -hmm. channel and we put the regular show on YouTube. So, what's that? And more soon. And more soon. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope we didn't drive you crazy this week. And until next time, keep smoking.